for this opportunity. I want to say that it has been a good time to listen to both parties, the Count Assembly and the Governor's side. But Mr. Speaker, if I may be very honest, if there is a day in this house I was disappointed is today. Because when I listened, these are issues that would have been solved at Meru level. Those are not issues to be brought to the Senate. Because there is no weighty issues that cannot be solved at Meru. The only issue that was very heavy for me is the abusive words that those men used on the governor. I cried. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to walk and go because I could not, I could not bear watching the abusive words that were being used to the governor. We are women, yes. We are educated, just like the men. Who, who is that who set an alarm? To wake up to go away. <laughs> Miss Pal Can you hold that time for Senator Kavin? Yes, please hold Honorable the time. Honorable Senators, <laughs> put your phones on silent mode. Mr. Speaker, we are women. We are women. We have daughters. And we need to be given space in political arenas that we may also portray our potential like any other person. We are leaders and we can lead, but we don't need this kind of bullying because even if, you know, if, if we are given space, we can work. People at Machakos today ask me, was this potential within you all those years because of what I do? I am sure the way I've seen the, the MCRs working with the governor, if they are given humble time and no insights from anywhere, they can work and they can deliver. Mr. Speaker, I'm very disappointed and I don't see anything that can make anyone go. Thank you, Mr. Senator Ali Roba. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, you know, we've listened for the for the the last two days on issues that have been.